Hi everyone, Megan Cox here today, and we will be looking at getting started with Google Jamboard, the online version. Google Jamboard is an interactive whiteboard tool that allows you to sketch, add images, notes, and collaborate with others in real time. Google Jamboard is a built-in part of our Google Suite tools for education. To get started, simply go to jamboard.google.com on any laptop device. You will get to a window that shows you thumbnails of any recent Jamboards you have created once you have logged into an account. You can also create and manage your Jamboards from within your Google Drive. By going to Google Drive, selecting New, and the More option, you should have an, uh, the ability to create new Google Jamboards. Much like other Google Drive and Google Suite files, everything will be stored and is able to share directly from your Google Drive. At the top, I can simply click my title to rename. And now when I go back to my Google Drive, I will have my file appear. This can be moved and dropped in any folder um, the same way other Google Drive files work. Once you get to this window, you will see some toolbars and functions on your left. You will see the ability to add backgrounds and clear your frame. You have arrows to go to new frames or new slides. You also have the same share button that is familiar to us from our other Google tools. From here, I can invite other people to edit and share my file with. I can also change my privacy access. So if I want to open this up to anyone with the link within our school district or um, in the world. Once I choose that, I can decide if I want to give them viewing or editing rights. Your three dots will give you a few other options. Um, Jamboards can obviously be renamed. You can download them in a PDF form. You can save each frame as a single image, remove things, and make a copy. Let's explore our tools. To the left, you will have a pen tool. If you click on this once, it gives you your pen tool so that you can write. If you click again, you will see the ability to change to marker, highlighter, brush, and selecting your color. Um, be aware that depending on your tool, your thickness and shade of that color is going to vary. Here you have the eraser function if you want to just simply erase small portions. The arrow will allow you to select um, items on your screen that you have added and move them around. Here you can add sticky notes. This is the easiest way for you to add text, um, such as directions or notes. Notice you also have the ability to change colors that way if you want to kind of keep it organized. Once I have done that, I can click cancel to get out of it and my arrow will allow me to move that where I want. You can also adjust size, direction, and then if you need to edit, duplicate, or delete, you have those three dots. The image button allows you to add images. You can upload them directly from your computer. You can do um, a Google Drive or a Google image search, I'm sorry. You'll have the same functions if you click on your mouse or your cursor to move, adjust size. And then the laser allows you to kind of temporarily highlight something. Um, this function would work well if you had multiple people in your document at one time and you were trying to speak to a certain part. Um, you can host Jamboards live, much like Google Docs. So if I had my students or a group of other teachers in here, I could say, if you look to the left, um, you'll see the directions. And that's kind of like a pointer or a cursor that you can use in real time. Um, you do have undo up here, but you also have the ability to kind of set some backgrounds. Um, some of the preloaded ones are really nice for um, different subjects, such as graph paper, have some dots. You can kind of make it different colors. 
Um, and if you need to have more space to work, you can simply just arrow through and it will continue to create um, new frames for you. If you really just want to start over, you can easily hit clear frame and it will let you do the same. Once you have um, kind of completed your Jamboard, think about how you want to export or share. That is the most important depending on your purpose, whether you are using it for a lesson, a model, or if you want, because they are linked to your Google Drive, you can create one as a template and assign it on Google Classroom so that every student has a copy they can manipulate on their own. Thanks for checking out our video today and don't forget to like and follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our channel for more videos.